And now, Jet 24 Sports with Ken Brown. Welcome back. Let's dive into some sports. Earlier today, Penn State University took down the statue of former head coach Joe Paterno, and now the football program awaits word from the NCAA on the fate of that program. We are now joined by Randy Zemnick of our sister station, WFFT. He's live in Indianapolis to talk more about this. Randy, thanks for joining us. I know there's been a lot of talks about the program being forced to take a year off. What have you heard? Yeah. Well, Ken, I mean, the national media folks down here that I've talked to say the death penalty is off the table, but basically, after all some of these sanctions that might come about, the death penalty might not have been a bad option here, because this is what I've learned. Again, it's all speculation. We'll know more at uh, that press conference at 9 o'clock tomorrow. But here's what's being rumored. First off, as far as bowl games go, you could see anywhere from a two- to five-year bowl game ban for Penn State. That is a huge loss of money for the university. Second off, as far as scholarships go, there are rumors that anywhere from a fourth to a half of Penn State football scholarships can be taken off the table for a period from anywhere to two to five years. Lastly, something that hasn't really been reported, but this one's kind of interesting, you might not see Penn State football on TV next year because one of the rumored sanctions is going to be a complete blackout of any Penn State football game. So this thing could get very interesting, Ken Brown, and you would think after all that, you'd rather have a death penalty. Sounds like it could be pretty costly for the university, Randy, and I, I know we talked about this during the break, but what about head coach Bill O'Brien, newly appointed, and he's kind of thrown into the fire here, really. Ken, this has turned from one of the best coaching jobs in college football to one of the worst in a 24-hour span. Bill O'Brien, of course, the highly touted offensive coordinator of the New England Patriots, many thought would be a top-flight candidate for an NFL head coaching job. Now, what do you do here? Because I am certain Bill O'Brien isn't a dumb individual. He knew what was going on here, and I'm sure in his contract at some point there is some sort of language that says, hey, look, if something like this happens, I can get out of Dodge, I can get out of Dodge in a hurry. So Bill O'Brien's contract and his status will be very interesting to see what happens in the next couple of days or weeks or so. All right, thank you, Randy. Once again, Sports Director Randy Zemnick of our sister station, WFFT, is in Indianapolis tonight.